Hi, I'm Phil Kitto, founder and CEO of Atmotion. I want to tell you about a sea change in wave energy. This is our wave energy sequestration technology. We call it WEST. We have U.S. and international patents pending on this. The technology actually does two things at once, as I'll show you. We have great competition. They're really big. Look at the Palamis device, 750 tons. Ocean Links takes up a whole boat just to ship one of these out to the nearshore deployment site. OPT, they won't show you the mooring system, which is needed to hold their device down to the seafloor. It's no wonder that these technologies are costing 15 cents per kilowatt hour compared to natural gas and coal that's three or four times more. Our West Array is different. I mentioned we do two things. We have the upwelling stage and the power stage. Each unit weighs about one and a half tons. We put many of these out in the open ocean where the waves are big. And we bring the energy back to shore using hydraulic pressure lines. Seawater in a hose in the ocean. So this will be a revolution in wave energy. Numerous small inexpensive devices stretching far offshore, capturing the big waves out in the open ocean, transmitting that power using seawater, not incredibly expensive undersea electrical cable, and put the generators on shore where they belong, not out in the ocean. The result, wave energy, we think at 2.4 cents per kilowatt hour, much less than the others, even less than coal and natural gas, and with baseload potential. When you flip the switch, the electricity is there. Plus, we have some really important side benefits. So here's the problems we solve. Energy supply, peak oil in 2005. Related to that, climate change. CO2 emissions, contaminating the atmosphere, absorbing energy from the sun, warming the earth, warming the oceans. Ocean productivity. The oceans are not growing as much phytoplankton due to the warming as they used to. Fewer fish. Ocean data. We know less about the oceans than we know about the moon. And jobs. We need more jobs. So our solutions. Low cost, baseload power from ocean waves. Enhance the ocean food web. The upwelling brings up higher nutrient deep ocean. Increase phytoplankton. That absorbs CO2. Phytoplankton is the base of the ocean food chain. Grow more big fish. Use the buoys as platforms for ocean sensors. And produce, generate manufacturing jobs in port cities worldwide. We have a marketing and sales uh, plan to go after the electric utility customers. First of all, in islands, island nations and island states. They're importing fossil fuels today. Boatloads of oil being shipped into Hawaii to generate electricity. The electricity cost is 30, almost 30 cents per kilowatt hour. And the oceanfront states and countries needing renewable energy. The East Coast, Florida, Gulf Coast, West Coast, they're all looking out at the waves. Why not use it? CO2 offset customers, large-scale emitters like coal-fired power plants, cement plants, steel mills, they need to transition from fossil fuel, but in the meantime they need to offset their emissions. Ocean fishing customers will be licensing rights through the regulatory agencies to catch the big fish that will be growing out in the middle of our arrays. And ocean data customers rent buoy space to the ocean scientists. They can put their sensors on the buoys and get all the data they need. Here's our management team. We have some big print and small print. I'm the big print. I have degrees in economics. I'm an inventor, serial entrepreneur, six uh, startups since 1973. Uh, in my prior auto safety business, I got 12 patents, which we licensed to uh, automotive tier one suppliers and then sold the company in 2004. In the small print, a dozen colleagues who have been involved almost from day one. They span all the uh, management skills that we might need, uh, finance, sales and marketing, uh, chief scientist, ocean engineering, manufacturing, uh, we even have communications and lobbyists. So we have the team ready to go when we get the funding. Here's the milestones. We've already done actually 21 ocean tests of the upwelling model, 
But we have another ocean test plan for October of this year. We'll be deploying 10 uh, connected uh, west devices in the Atlantic Ocean, about 60 miles east of New Jersey. Uh, over a year time period, we'll be measuring the power output, uh, the CO2 absorption, uh, we'll very importantly be uh, monitoring the durability of the subsystems uh, in this uh, device, in this array. The only way you can find out how things are going to work in the ocean is to really put them out there and observe. And we'll be getting the biological and ecological and environmental effects to make sure that our technology does no harm to the oceans. I'm sure that would be the case. And then we'll be ready to start our commercial installations in 2013. We'll go to the islands, island states and island nations, Hawaii, Bermuda, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, even Haiti and the Dominican Republic. All are looking at waves every day and importing fossil fuel to generate their electricity. It makes no sense. And also the coastal regions, up and down the east coast, Florida, Gulf Coast, West Coast, as well as other countries. Uh, all can prime candidates for renewable wave energy. Here's our financial projections. The key one is the cost of electricity per kilowatt hour. Now we base this on an assumed seven year amortization period and a 40% efficiency factor uh, to get our 2.4 cents per kilowatt hour cost. We know that those assumptions might turn out to be a little bit different so we've taken a look at even more conservative numbers of five year amortization and 30% uh, efficiency and even then we're still well under five cents per kilowatt hour. Plenty of wave energy out there as you see in the upper right graph the uh, green line five million cumulative upwelling cubic meters of uh, seawater over just this eight month, eight month period in the open ocean uh, east of New Jersey and New York. And like most entrepreneurial companies we have a very uh, attractive uh, revenue and earnings projection a hockey stick projecting up into the stratosphere. Uh, we have some very solid numbers to back that up. So in conclusion, uh, we are going to be doing ocean wave energy right. We capture big waves with small inexpensive devices out in the open ocean. Transmit that using seawater in a hose, hydraulic transmission. Put the generators on shore, that's where they ought to be. And we'll be leveraging the side benefits to enhance our corporate environmental sustainability and governance profile, restoring ocean productivity, increasing food supply, a bonus for the scientists, more ocean data, and a bonus for the politicians, very important, more jobs. So thank you for your interest. Uh, I invite you to view our website, www.atmotion.com. Uh, you can call me at 505-310-2294. And there's a link to my email on the website. Thanks again.